Coozy, everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Jair, and this is Tara with Jai, and welcome to another deck walkthrough. As you guys can see, I do have a brand new deck here that just came into the mail today, the Simpsons Tarot. And so, um, I forgot what I bought this for. It was on sale, so I think I got it for like twenty dollars, I believe so. But this is by Dark Se Severe. You can guys can read that. That's where I got it from. I got it from Etsy. Um, just making sure I had to. This is the first edition. And then you have the social medias there. But it says, The Simpsons has been on the air for an impressive 28 seasons and counting, making it both the longest-running American sitcom and animated program in history. While some things always change, see couch gags, many things in Springfield stay exactly the same. For instance, Maggie Simpson has been a baby for the last 29 years. How is Maggie still a baby with a pacifier? Shouldn't she be in college by now? As Bart Simpson would say, ah caramba, ah, caramba. <laughs> luckily the Simpsons had a quick answer. That's the magic of the Simpsons. And so that wording is very together but this is the box is a tuck box i literally ordered a donut um bag it's an 80 card deck with the guidebook um i did order a, a donut bag so that could be very um fitting <laughs> very fitting and so literally like i'm literally gonna have like a donut with a pink donut bag i think i'm either gonna get a makeup bag or if i can't find a tarot bag I then I'll do it. So it is bowed a little bit only because it was in the mail for, um, and it's like 30 something degrees outside where I'm from. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere and it's winter here. So here's the guidebook here. Um, it's in multiple languages. Looks like two of them. And it just looks like just some basic information. There's no really no information about why they chose the pictures. It just seems like just basic information. I don't really see any character names or anything like that. So, yeah. So since there's 80, I believe there's two extra cards. I wanna see if they talk about the extra cards. Yes, they do talk about it. So the cards are the witch. Use your, car use your strength for good. Dark games can be frustrating. Get rid of the excess. You are stronger than you think. And then we have blank cards, complete freedom of action you have a chance to fulfill any of your dreams and now it's the right time you are the favorite of the of fate so that just seems like a basic guidebook i'm glad they have a little description of the cards there so let's get into this walkthrough okay first i want to talk about the card stock it's thin oh it's very thin but it snaps back definitely snaps back but it is very thin, very flexible. Um, it's nothing like Llewellyn. Um, do I have a Llewellyn deck in here? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Uh, this looks like regular tarot size, but I will be pulling a, a Llewellyn card here. So it is definitely, it's definitely a little bit narrower than Llewellyn, but it is taller than Llewellyn. So it is like a, I would say a good tarot size, a good regular tarot size there. And yeah, so that's the size. It is thin cardstock. And let's just get to the walkthrough, okay? I am a huge fan of Simpsons. Fim Simpsons, or yeah, Simpsons is definitely one of my binge watching shows that I watched when I was in college. Um, I still watch the binge watch it. I really have to rewatch the last season. Well, I need to finish watching the last season. And I love it. It's such a great, funny show, like a sitcom. Um, between the ties between them and Family Guy, it's hilarious. It is so hilarious. But whoever drew these, are, it's very accurate. They, you, could def, you could definitely tell this person is very much, um, has definitely followed the, like, the definite pattern. So I didn't see an artist at all. Um, 
I didn't see an artist. Oh, there we go. The artist is right there. I'm not gonna, uh, Melina, Melena. And then the other one, I don't wanna butcher the name, but that's the artist. So the lovers, of course, it's Homer and Marge, of course. The Chariot with Bart and Lisa, which is definitely interesting. I wouldn't think that would be the chariot, but I mean, hey. Aw. They said Maggie has been a baby for 29 years, which is definitely interesting because that just, that that makes, that's very interesting. The hermit. I would think you have a beer can. I forgot what the beer was called. Hold up. I need to look it up. I forgot what the beer was called, but I would picture Homer with, Drinking a beer in the light instead of is that a beer or like a message in a bottle? Duff beer, that's what it's called. It's called Duff beer. Very much a pop culture debt. And it looks very accurate. I mean, I can't be mad at it whatsoever. The cars make sense. The cars make sense. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of this is original art. Well, of course it is. You could tell. Just by the way the shapes are and the way a lot of these are looking are looks handmade. And I love how they have a sticker effect to it. I love the sticker effect. And the bubbles and the coloring. You can tell somebody. That, oh my gosh, the tower with the book acting like everything's okay. I think it's a great deck. Honestly, so far, so good for me. The moon. Aww. I love how the three cards are just all with Maggie in it. The star, the moon, and the sun. I love how they all have Maggie in it. Then judgment. And of course the world, and that's the world card that's in the front right here. So full circle moment. And then here's the extra cards. First we have the witch. Then we have the, bl the card blanks, which is interesting. I wonder how I'm gonna read that intuitively. Now we're on to the sword suits. One thing about it is I, I love how the majors, they're basically the Simpsons family. Literally, just the Simpsons family. And I think the minors are going to be like different characters. I love the, how they have the um, colored people from the show, the um, different um, ethnicities and cultures in the show. I love that, how, how they are already showing that. The Four of Swords. You know, this looks more like a four, a five of wands, but I can also see why it's the five of swords as well. Because you can get the taunting, the pettiness out of it. So yeah, I can see it. Oh, I remember this episode, the six of swords. Remember when they were driving a little car down? I remember that episode. So these are literally inspired. Now, some of these characters I may not remember. Most definitely may not, but you know what? Hey, Eight of Swords with Flanders and his son trying to protect him. Mm, one of the sisters, one of Marge's sisters. I forgot which one this was. I forgot which twin this was. I'm guessing it's the Romeo and Juliet thing. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, page of so yeah. Okay, I can see that. I can also see him has a page of wands as well. Oh, the Jack Sparrow with the Knight of Swords. I 
I wonder what episode this was from Maggie. Or, or this another baby. Hmm. I'm wondering. Now we're in the cup suit, so there's him enjoying the Duff beer. Remember that episode when the Simpsons and the Family Guy crossover and they found out that the beer from Family Guy is actually Duff beer in a different label? I actually like how they're different shapes too. Are they different shapes? Yeah, they're, they're gonna be different shapes in a lot of them. <laughs> Nelson, I believe that's his name, right? Nelson. Oh, Bart. Six. <laughs> you definitely get the energy. Definitely. The professor, I forgot his name. And I love how he has a love, so maybe he's making a love potion. Maybe he's making something, like, I just love that. So it's not really a card, of, I mean, it's the Seven of Cups. So it's a card of illusions, a card of delusions, and a card of options. So you can read that totally differently. The old man with the Eight of Cups. Now I wonder how this is the Eight of Cups. Oh gosh, my light, my light went out. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but I'm, I was just about to say, I don't know how this is the Eight of Swords, but I mean, hey. It can be. Maybe it's related to an episode. If you know this episode, put it in the comments section. Put it in the comments below. <laughs> oh, Ten of Cups. The dude who tried to kill. Oh, I remember this episode where he tried to kill Bart and get revenge. So he Bart told him to reincite that musical. I remember that one. Oh, must be from a Thor episode, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So am I the only one that Nelson has so much because remember that episode <laughs> when um Bart I'm um, not Bart, when um Homer was making a dating video for him and you know everything was exposed. Like he is definitely underrated. Definitely underrated. Blessed by God and all, okay? All in the heart and the right places. So, Ace of Wands. We're in the wand suits. There's the twins. Forgot their names from the top of my head. There's the captain. See, I see this more as a five of swords than the five of wands. I definitely see this more as a five of swords than the five of wands. Like if they flip flop, it'll be it'll be good for me. But I can also see what the conflict is though. You can still see it, but I still see this as a more five of swords. And then the five of wands in this deck is more of the five of the five of swords is more of the five of wands in this deck. This is a good five of wands. <laughs> Maggie and that baby always was fighting. <sighs> Very fitting. Very fitting. The cat lady, yes, <laughs> very fitting. Wizard Homer. Finally, the pentacle suits, which looks like donuts. Oh, 
Oh, I love how they put him in here as well. Mo. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles fits. It fits. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot what episode she shows up in, but I definitely recall her. The Power Ranger. Um, paying um, homage finally yep <laughs> this definitely reads I didn't see his assistant at all in this deck, which I would love to see him. Maybe I would love to see him in the Nine of Cups. Let me find it real quick. I would love to see his assistant in this Nine of Cups. I would love to see his assistant there. But that was the deck. Let me just give it a quick shuffle test. I'm a riffle shuffle for my riffle shuffles. Yeah. Like I said, it's very thin, so it's definitely going to be easy to riffle shuffle. Oh, shoot. That was my fault. Goodness. Yeah, it's definitely going to be easy to ruffle shuffle. Mine's already have a bow, like I said, from the cold weather. Let me just shuffle it like this. Maybe this will help more. Yeah, it definitely helped way more. So ruffle shuffling is, is not a problem. Uh, you can also shuffle it sideways. Yeah. Thin card stock is very much a card stock where you can shuffle it very easily. It may bow way easily as well, so it won't be like really preserved. It's not the lush, most expensive card stock, but you know what? It will do. Definitely shuffle it like this. Shuffle test. Yep. Oh, what's this card? Oh, the star. So let's actually read that from the book. So the star from the little guidebook, see if it helps for beginners. Um, so the star here. Okay, the star. The birth of a new path, a dream. After trials of faith, you finally see clearly where you can go next. Now you may not have the strength to move, but there is a goal. Thank the heavens and the higher power for, uh, for this star. It will lead you to your happiness. Excuse me. So this is definitely, it could be definitely be um, beginner friendly. It is inspired by the Rider Waite Smith deck. You can definitely tell from the inspiration, but it definitely goes its own way regarding to the characters. And so now I'm actually going to be playing with a little bit of pairing. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing with a little bit of pairs here. And I have two in mind. The first one is the Affirmators Deluxe. It's goofy. It's fun. It's cheeky. Um... It definitely gives some beautiful things. Now, the art styles may not be um, cohesive. Let me zoom in for you guys. Let me zoom in. But you know what? I felt a little bit of cheekiness. I have one more deck after this. But we do have the Affirmators Deluxe, which is a um, collection of all the Affirmators from the Affirmators Relationship, the Affirmators Friendship, the Affirmators Oracle Deck, and Affirmation. So... I should have split it up. I don't know why I felt called to split it up that way, but hey, maybe there's a reason. Vulnerability, solidarity, but and with the page of wands between. I like the little colors of the backgrounds. Engagement, open-heartedness. This is like a one-card pull, so let me just try something real quick. I just want to try the other way around. Okay, 
There we go. Trust with the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. Okay, this definitely works better. This could be like a good like guidance pull. Like I want to pull a card, I'm gonna do it like this and then just pull the tarot around it. Okay, definitely not mad at it. This is like a guidance thing, like some extra like cheeky um, messages if I need any. So I could definitely use this for like cheeky, but I definitely won't be using this that much when it, with it. But I just wanted to see because they're both very, they're very, um, again, cheeky. They're very hilarious. They're very, um, has a sense of humor. Both these decks have a sense of humor. And if you pause and read the messages on here, you'll see why I say a sense of humor for the affirmators. But yes, both of them do have a sense of humor. And I'm definitely not mad at it. So that's one of my pairings. So let's just put this one up. So the last pairing I do have here is called the Creative Consciousness Healing Oracle Deck. Ugh. Now again, this deck has, I don't know why I felt called to be pulling it from here but I was. I was definitely, felt, I felt called to do it. Receiving, opening, opening self to worthiness between the Six of Cups and the King of Swords. Hmm. The Tower, the Ace of Cups between the Moon money. Allow with a flow of abundance. Sometimes that's how it has to do that sleep. So, yeah. Maybe this is not what I thought it would be. I'm not really getting any any like chilling vibes. Like, oh my gosh, this deck is it. I don't think there really is a deck that I have in my collection just yet that's going to fit the Simpsons deck just yet. Maybe a food one. <laughs> I don't really have a food oracle or another food tarot deck that will fit this. I have the, um, the herbalist. I mean, the... Um, what is it called? The Herbalist Tarot? Or like, I forgot what it was called. But it's something with the herbs in it and it's very much divine feminine energy. But um, I have that deck, but I don't think it's gonna fit this one. But it was definitely worth a try. I'm not mad at it, but it was definitely worth a try to see how it fits, so. No, I don't really see this being a, a good pairing when I do readings with it. But hey, it was definitely worth a try. And so, I can't be mad at it. <laughs> can't be mad at it whatsoever. Okay. Okay, so that was The Simpsons Tarot walk through. I hope you guys like this. I will put a link if you guys want to purchase it. If you guys have any other pairings that you would do with this deck, let me know in the description box below and I would definitely put it on my wish list. I would definitely put it on my list to purchase next because I do like decks to go together even if it's just the color and not the artistic style. Um, if you guys like this, go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the Royal Court. We'd love to have you here. And if you guys want to um, follow all my social medias or book a reading with me, check out my link to in the description box below. That is the only way you can book a reading with me. I would never DM you, email you, or do whatever like whatever you like that. If you feel called to get a reading from me, check the description box below in the link tree, and you will find a link to all of it. Also, if you guys want to follow my personal, my personal an artist channel, check out in the description box below if you want to support me go ahead and check out the description box below thank you guys so much for watching my ads and letting them play in the background i know it interrupts the video but you know what that is one way you guys can support me um that is 100 free just allowing a one minute ad to play in the background while you guys watch thank you guys so much i'm 100 grateful i love you i like you and i am always grateful for my royal court members and for people who just stumbled across my channel it was not a coincidence you were meant to be here for a reason okay and so without further ado i will see you guys later bye